Try to get your mind to stay still with the breath. It's been running around all morning. Give it a, set, give it a time to just sit still and watch. Watch the breath coming in, watch the breath going out. You can make some adjustments. Adjust the breath in a way that feels good. You can change your point of focus if you like. If you don't like focusing on the nose, you can focus on the middle of the chest. You can focus at the abdomen. Anywhere in the body where you have a sensation of the breath coming in, the breath going out. And then try to stay there. We stay there not only to rest, but also to see. Because when you're running around, it's hard to see things clearly. You run past a tree and you have no idea what's in the tree. You just see blurs, maybe a few details here and there, but you don't get a real sense of what really is there in the tree until you just sit there and watch it. And we spend all our time running around. You don't see, don't things, see things clearly. It's like being born in a train. You look out the train window and everything seems to move. Mountains move, trees move, cars move. Houses move, people move. You can't really tell what really moves and what doesn't move until you stop yourself. Sometimes you see a car running along the road parallel to the train and it seems to be motionless because it's moving at the same speed, but it's moving. But as far as you're concerned, it's still. We live in this world where we have a lot of misunderstandings about what things are reliable and steady and which things are not steady, because we're not steady. So take some time to steady the mind. It may not seem like much is happening to begin with, but it's like adjusting your eyes as you go into a very dark or very bright room. If you go into the darkness, everything seems dark until your eyes adjust, and then you begin to see, oh, there is a little bit of light in here, and you can discern shapes. But when it's very bright, again, it takes a while for the mind to adjust, not for the eyes to adjust. And here, when you're getting settled down in the present moment, the Buddha gives you some vocabulary for things to look for, first in what you're doing and the things you're going to see. The vocabulary for what you're doing is being mindful, holding, say, the breath in mind, remembering to stay with the breath, then being alert, being alert to what you're doing, and then being ardent, trying to do it well. And as for what you see, you see the results of your actions. And by the results, then you can adjust what you're doing. This way you can really see what's going on and get a lot more skillful about how you engage not only with yourself but also with the world around you. But it starts by your willingness just to stay still for a while, not go jumping off the, at the slightest impulse. This is why when the Buddha was teaching his son how to meditate, the first thing he told him was to make your mind like earth. Earth is solid. Earth is still. It doesn't react easily to things. If you really want to see things from the beginning of a, something to the end, you have to be really still. And when you're still, it's like getting off the train. And you can look around. You say, oh, the mountains don't move. The houses don't move. The trees don't move. People move. Cars move. And you get a better sense of what you can rely on and what you can't. Because you take the time to be, learn how to be reliable and being still.